If you recall, I've already shown you how you can heat your house with kerosene, light your house with kerosene, and cook with kerosene. What this video is going to be about is how to store kerosene. During a disaster, you want to have a good deal of kerosene on hand, whether it be a hurricane, an earthquake, an ice storm, even if it's uh, unemployment. It's nice to know that you have your winter heating paid for in advance. Let me show you how I do it. If you were to store large amounts of uh, propane or gasoline, it's very dangerous. They're flammable and explosive. This is 1K kerosene. Let me show you. It's actually an oil. You can take a burning match and it'll be extinguished. in kerosene. If that were gasoline, the outcome would be entirely different. You can purchase kerosene by the gallon at Lowe's or Home Depot. Even Walmart carries it on a seasonal basis. And this was running me around $11 a gallon. But if you were to call up a uh, fuel supply company, they'll sell it to you at 100 gallons or more and bring out the truck. And I got a, I'm in the South, gave me a, a price point of $4 a gallon. So it's really worthwhile having a truck come and deliver 100 gallons or more at a time. Let me show you how I store kerosene. I wanted an inexpensive system. And so I went on Craigslist and I found a fellow that was selling 53 gallon barrels for $20 a piece. And it's real important that you know what was in the barrel. Um, this had a fiberglass compound in it, but the contents were in a plastic bag protecting the barrel. You want to make sure that your barrels are clean. Um, also, I was real concerned about uh, ground contamination. I didn't want my water, if, if this started to leak, going into the water table. So I placed it in a cattle trough. This is two feet deep, it's three feet wide, and eight feet long, and it will hold four of these barrels. I also wanted a barrel that didn't have the two inch opening. Okay, I wanted full access to it, so I wanted barrels with a uh, spring clamp. Let me show you how that works. Just Take off the clamp. Now I have full access to the container. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people are talking about, you know, these pumps to get the contents out. Well, I don't want to have to rely on electricity. I don't want to rely on mechanical seals and this and that. I wanted something very simple no moving parts. I can just dip out the kerosene, transfer it into a one gallon container. I wanted to be able to uh, refuel my heater, my stove, and my lantern. I would definitely put this into a shed with a locking door. I'd make certain that a truck with a hose could gain access to it and keep the sun off of it. Just a few suggestions. I'll catch you on the next one.